Hi, welcome to another Java interview question. This question deals with concurrency in Java. In this question, we have two threads, odd and even. And you need to make sure that they print one, two, depending on its even or odd in a sequence. So the result should come something like this. Odd one, even two, odd three, and it should move on these similar lines. So let's see how we can do this. So here we have an atomic long, which we have initialized to one. We have an object which serves as the lock. And we have two threads called even and odd. Both the threads take the number, which is our atomic long and the lock, which is just a simple object. We start both the threads here. Let's see how we have implemented the threads now. The even thread is a class which extends thread. We assign the atomic long and the object in the constructor and then we go to our run method. The run method synchronizes the axis to number based on lock. So inside the synchronized block we have our while true so this will go on infinitely. We check if number dot get mod 2 is not equal to 0 that means it is a odd number we put a wait. So we are using lock which is our object lock and we are calling a wait on that lock. Else we print that the number is even. We go to sleep for a second and then we come out and increment the number and then notify all. The important thing to keep in mind here is we are using lock and we are calling lock dot wait and lock dot notify all. Similarly, we have class odd which takes the same parameters in the constructor and the synchronized block uses lock. We go in a while true that is infinite loop and we check the reverse thing. So number dot get mod two equal to equal to zero that means it's an even number we wait else we print the number we sleep for a second and then we increment and get so we increment the number and then we notify everyone who is waiting for this one so that's how you can print this even odd loop let us run it once so you get even odd even odd and it will go on and on thanks for watching